take several pictures before applying masonry. Protect your work with cardboard if you don't apply a finished floor right away. Before applying mortar, make sure your loudmouth monitor is properly attached and working. Radiant floors can require more thinset than cold floors, so plan accordingly. We recommend the plastic cable trowel. It's lightweight, easy to use, cleans easily, and is much less likely to damage your heating elements. Available through your warm wire distributor. Here are some common ways to cover warm wire in masonry floor. The one-step method. Use a good quality latex modified thinset mortar. Apply thinset and then use the flat edge of the trowel to work it on the floor and between the wires. Work the thinset with the wires to keep the spacing at two and a half inches. Then apply more thinset, reverse the trowel, and comb it in straight lines the same way the wires run. The two-step method. Apply your thinset over the warm wire and then wait for it to dry. Come back the next day and comb a layer of thinset on top. The two-step method, plan B. Apply your thinset over the warm wire and then wait for it to dry. The next day, if you're working with larger tile or stone, back butter each piece and set it in place over the first layer of thinset. Some installers apply the tile while the layer of mortar is still wet. Self-leveling. The material in this case is a concrete compound which finds its own level. The ideal thickness is 3 eighths of an inch, although 1 quarter of an inch is usually sufficient. First, caulk the gaps along the perimeter of the area to be heated. Then mix the compound according to the manufacturer's instructions. We are using half bag mixes in 5 gallon buckets. You can pull this screed across the surface to make sure the depth is correct. Once the whole area is filled, pull a blade across the surface to remove any air bubbles. The next day, inspect the surface for tabs of mud and remove them. Use a straight edge to make sure there is very little variation of height on the surface. Once the warm wire heating elements are embedded in masonry, complete the finished floor as you would normally. When you're finished, do another resistance check with your digital ohm meter and confirm that the measurement on the meter and on the wire label are the same. Now that the warm wire is installed, Let's look at the finished wiring. This section covers the installation of the Sunstat Programmable Model 50670 for 120 volt wiring. Each control should include a floor sensor with a 15 foot long wire, two screws for mounting in the electrical box, five wire nuts for wiring connections, a small screwdriver, and the instruction sheet which you must read before beginning work. Make certain the power from your electrical source is turned off and that you've read the installation manual and instructions with each control before you begin work. Don't connect more than 15 amps to this control. At your control location, you should have the Romex cable from your electrical supply known as the line. This is the power lead known as the load. Remove the thermostat front module from the power module by opening the door and loosening the screw. Pull outward near the bottom on the front module and lift it off. Connect the two wires marked line 1 and line 2 to the power supply wires using the wire nuts provided. Check the wires to make sure they're secure and then overwrap the wire nuts with electrical tape. Connect the two wires marked load 1 and load 2 to the floor warming system lead wires and secure them in the same way. Connect the house ground wire to the green lead wires of your floor warming system. Insert the ends of the floor sensor wire into the sensor terminals 1 and 2 and tighten the screws. The wires can go into either terminal. If you have more spools to connect to the control, join them in parallel as follows. All the green wires join together with the ground wire from the breaker box. All the white wires from the spool join together with the white load wire. All the black wires from the spool join together with the black load wire. Before continuing, make sure your power supply voltage matches the voltage rating of your floor warming system. Mount the thermostat. Carefully fold and press the wires back into the electrical box. 
don't use the thermostat to push them in because the connections might loosen. Secure the thermostat power module into the box with the mounting screws provided. Carefully snap the front module onto the power module. Tighten the screw. Switch on the power at the main circuit panel. Quick setup. Your thermostat should be turned off and the display will show off along with the time and day. Slide the on-off switch to the upper position, turning the thermostat on. The display will show the time and day, temperatures, and other information. To turn the thermostat off any time, slide the on-off switch to the lower position. No heating will occur, and all your programming is retained. Press the Options button and hold for one second. An F and 12H will show on the display, indicating Fahrenheit temperature scale and a 12-hour clock. Press the down or up button to toggle to Celsius and a 24-hour clock if needed. Press the hold return button to return to the normal operating mode. Press the day time button and hold for one second. The hour should be blinking. Press the down or up button to adjust the hour. Press the day time button briefly. The minutes should be blinking. Press the down or up button to adjust the minutes. Press the day time button briefly. The day should be blinking. Press the down or up button to adjust the day. Press the hold return button or wait 15 seconds and the thermostat will return to the normal operating mode, saving your settings. This thermostat comes with a convenient warming schedule to get you started. During weekdays, your floor warms to 82 degrees between 6 and 8 a.m. It gets warm again between 5 and 10 p.m. Between these warming periods, the floor temperature drops back to 75 degrees. Saturdays and Sundays are similar, but your warm periods are slightly longer. Temporarily override the temperature set point. You can let the thermostat operate in its normal schedule program or override it in one of the following ways. When heat is called for, heating will show on the display and full power is supplied to the floor warming system. If you want to temporarily override the temperature set point, press the down or up arrow button and hold for one second. The set point will blink and you can select the temperature you want. Press the hold return button briefly and the thermostat will return to the normal operating mode with your new adjustment. To cancel the temporary override and return to the normal scheduled temperature, press the hold return button briefly. Hold a selected temperature. You can hold the current set point temperature indefinitely, especially useful when you're on vacation. Press the hold return button and hold for one second. Hold will show on the display and the set point temperature will be maintained until you cancel this hold. To cancel this hold, press the hold return button and hold for one second. Hold will disappear from the display. Setback. You can use the setback button to override the current set point temperature. This is especially useful if you have an alternate temperature you repeatedly select when you're away. Press the setback button briefly. The setback will show on the display and its temperature. This set point will hold until the next scheduled program time. To hold this setback temperature indefinitely, press the hold return button and hold for one second. To cancel this hold, press the hold return button again and hold for one second. To cancel this setback temperature and return to the normal scheduled temperature, press the setback button briefly. For more programming options, please consult your heat weave instruction sheet. Except for a brief test, don't put the system into full operation until the mortar materials are fully cured, which may take 72 hours to 28 days depending on mortar manufacturer's instructions. If you have a problem, or if you have questions about our products or installation procedures, call toll-free 800-276-2419. You can also visit our website at wattsradiant.com.
where you'll find a downloadable version of the manual and other useful advice. This video can't take the place of the heat weave installation manual. The manual has important details and troubleshooting guides to help you with your installation. Heat weave mats are made in the United States. We build them with patented safety features including armored power leads and the lowest EMF or electromagnetic fields for radiant floor warming in the world. We hope you enjoy your warm floor and that you'll stay in touch.